My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violin, New Jersey. Excuse the spy in my eye. Just don't look at it. Don't look at me or whatever. I just want to do this video. And I'm not going to be able to wait. Like, um... I was hoping my sty would go away. I have a sty in my eye. It's really terrible. You know, cover the screen. Don't look at me. Don't listen to me if you don't want to. I don't I mean, I don't... Whatever. So, um... The thing is, is... <laughs> Look, there's this chaplain, Frank Apolito. All right, I'm about to record him. He does this little, he does these little um, clips, and um, he's trying to cover up the crimes that he um, and the lies that he has uh, said to the people, and he's copying my words um, in many other areas, and then acting like he's speaking against it, and he's exposed for his lies, and acting like he's presenting himself as truth. You know, is a being of truth or whatever. When he knows that he keeps lying, okay. Now there are some people who are deceived and believe that um, what they believe in is true. That is not true, okay. But he is consistently trying to cover up his lies. He's also been copying my words, um, and it's like when I basically. Um, he was basically perverting scripture, taking scripture out of context or whatever, um, or reading a passage and then like saying this or whatever in reference to this passage. And I made a statement on the police page, and my page, I don't know which my page or my page, <laughs> but um, that um, you take it out of context because you're not reading scripture as a whole, interpreting scripture as a whole. Okay? So, um, and now they're trying to attack me for that too. Well, let me finish this statement. Um, so then he goes behind his pulpit, right, and and acts like he's teaching people. Oh, he uh, that like he's speaking against against re, uh, how do I say it? more well, himself, <laughs> but presenting an opposition and acting like um, he's telling people to read it as a whole. So the thing is, he's playing this game. I spoke against them being atheists and and. Um, attacking God and Jesus and everything in scripture, being anti-Jewish Semite, Semite and all these other things or whatever and then they'll sit and then he runs behind his pulpit and sits there and says oh, pos uh, I'm sorry, atheists are trying to get into the church right, so now he's pretending, I didn't use the word apostate, okay, recently or whatever I'm not saying I've never used it, I have in the past but, um, it's kind of used by well, all the false teachers true and false teachers apostate, apostate or apostasy will be um, claim to be spoken against. And this is what it sounds like when a false teacher, um, um, presents to, um, people be apo uh, in apostasy or what have you. Now, a lot of times it gets tricky. So, you have Catholics that deceive that whole thing and they call apostasy whatever is a rejection of the Catholic Church and they claim to be, you know, the official church or whatever and the first church and all these other things, which is not true. The Jewish people were the first church and the scepter does not leave Judah. Bottom line, okay? And that is from my original theological teachings that I use against the Catholics or whatever is a war against the, who also call themselves the Greek Orthodox church, which basically they wound up copying each other and battling each other, so they're completely just not, uh, you know, of the the original uh, uh, church of Christ, okay, so, and they also present this thing about, like, a linking thing, you know, one connected to another, or what have you, that's, that's not how Christianity works, but, um, they don't know what's in scripture, so I actually... Knowing scripture as a whole and interpreting and using selective verses, excuse me, I just drank tea, so um, using sele selective verse verses rightfully in context. These people isolate and pervert scripture or whatever and, you know, pervert it into their own false teachings or what have you, um, completely slandering the word of God in doing so. Um, it, it has to be done selectively, um, carefully. Like, you know, I mean, like a physician, he uses a tool selectively for that purpose, okay? And it has to line up with what you're saying without basically falsely interpreting it, whatever. Anyway, I'm sorry, I can't get into all that teaching because I do have to record him.
But the thing is, is that um, he, the chief, the, the, the violent police department who uh, swore in this chaplain and other chaplains to obstruct justice, by the way, and use them because they were persecuting me and basically calling their false judgments against me authoritative. And the Vana Police Department claiming they are communities of faith and they basically bounce back and claim that they are, um, how do I say this? That they are the authority of God or whatever sit there and claiming that their confirmation of each other means they're authoritative and anybody speaks against them. Um, that he actually said are not of God, even though I use truth to destroy them and prove them wrong. As they are actually destroying life and destroyed my family, persecuting me or whatever, and make every effort to bury me. So, anyway, he, he he's more often so, now he's done it throughout the years, but he's more often um, frequently copying um, my words and then claim it for himself and teaching it from his pulpit that I just spoke against him doing. I wrote it on my police page. I should look that up and just like scanned like certain things or whatever. So the thing is, I'm just going to record this and I'm going to make comments on it. But he's full of it. He's not of truth. He knows he's not of truth. But he keeps sitting there and what I correct him on, he'll sit there and repeat it. Act like he's teaching it and revert it back to... um what I, um, exposed that was false or whatever. So he's covering up now him condemning me, making personal attacks against me for having the knowledge of Christ. Now he's sitting there in his other, uh, last sermon, sitting there copying, uh, the knowledge of Christ, pretending he's speaking, you know, uh, in regards to the knowledge of Christ. I'm, talk I'm not talking about the knowledge that there was Jesus, the person. I'm talking about his word or whatever, and I corrected all this, and he's copying it. And he basically attacked me many times for knowledge, even sitting there trying to condemn me uh, uh, falsely with false doctrines. Okay, falsely claiming that uh, knowledge is the forbidden fruit. Okay, and I got this basically in another cult, Ramus Church or whatever, who was attacking me doing the same thing. And he's echoing and doing a lot of the same things, actually abusing me and claiming they're all Christian, whatever, and and sometimes being, acting like they're in, like, conflict or whatever, and things like that, and claiming they're Christian, and I'm not because they're abusing me. So, and yeah, I'll go off. Uh, if I speak against their evil and how vile it is, and they're sitting there using all the words I use or whatever, vile, vulgar, or what have you, and the police or what have you, if I speak against their vile, immoral, vulgar, raunchy, filthy, um, abominations, immorality, lawless crimes, or what have you. Okay? And then claim that, oh, me speaking against them is, oh, um, filthy or whatever. They use the scripture or whatever because I call them an AH or what have you. I'm sorry, um, cussing out your rapist, I'm sorry, um, as vulgar as they are, um, is not a sin. They try to use the passage of James or whatever sit there and claim that I'm not Christian. Oh, I'm sorry. Child rapists are sitting there falsely uh, going to sit there and tell me I'm not Christian. Child rapist supporters. Who they claim, by the way, are of God. And then they'll change it. You sit there and change it twice and sit there and claiming everything police do is of God and authority of God. If you, if you don't uh, uh, submit to them or whatever, um, um, that you are in rebellion against God because I protested against violent police threatening my life and threatening to silence me and threatening to kill me or whatever and protested against it and he sat there and said I was in rebellion against God because they threatened to kill me and are abusing me and persecuting me for being Christian by the way just want to let you know I told him this that I was being persecuted or whatever for um um because of the knowledge um of the Bible and, you know, this is a few beliefs or whatever to him in conversation or whatever. And so I'm being persecuted by the Raymond Church and, 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 the, and the violent police department or whatever. And he joined them to sit there to continue to persecute me as they sat there and found him actually through me speaking against him being abusive, by the way. Speaking against his abusive false doctrine. They're making up lies, by the way. Claiming that, oh, oh, I, I'm basically a Pharisee, right? Falsely claiming that I'm a Pharisee or what have you. 
because I had a problem with him touching me, and I mentioned several times about it and nudged him off from me. He's not allowed, to, and then sitting there like, oh, because yeah, he's, you know, um, a man of God. No, 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 he wasn't allowed to touch me because he was teaching pedophile false doctrines. That science victims and protected child rapists. Because he's unclean. Not of God. So there, 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 there are other chaplain William Clay is perverting all that and uh, uh, actually going off of his perverted slanders of me, which is a crime. He said he's allowed to commit crimes against me, by the way, because he said he's a believer in Jesus. This is basically what he said to sum it up. And then he's trying to cover that up, by the way. Claiming I'm not a believer oh, for um, speaking against his wicked evil his wicked evilness. Now, sitting there trying to act holy, I just want to let you know, many years ago, I actually read false poetry by false mystics, right? I was trying to sit there. I was called a mystic by the Ramus Church or what have you. Don't know why. I related it to, you know, mystical teachings or what have you, which are mocking. Okay, and so I went to research it, and it was just like, it was just like, okay, they're not really saying anything. They don't have insight of the kingdom of God or what have you, and they try to appear beautiful by um, using nature and things like that or whatever. Um, the thing is, yes, Jesus uses nature. I use nature or whatever to compare things with spiritual things, okay? So the thing is, is that... Um, and he has attempted to, to do so, which he prefers takes out of context and has copied others, has looked up things to copy others. So when he sits there and tries it on his own, he has no insight, spiritually blind, and like, you know, perverts all these things. Now, so he's going to talk about nature. I just want to let you know, and I've used this in, a, in, a, in comparison when I basically tried to find anyone else, anyone else, um, well, who was um, spiritually on... Um, um, a communion with God, okay, that receives revelation of spiritual things from God, um, um, that is mystical. Now, they'll sit there and read falsely define it as they have. The Nazarene Church, who basically actually gave me the name Mystic, okay, um, and then attacked me for it, um, they actually created a thing to spread this message. Um, among their cult um, organization that is not um, the Christian church, by the way. Other false prophet, John Wesley, um, they actually spread around um, a false doctrine to basically claim to speak against mystics because of that. And so the thing is, when I sit there and try to like research what they were like talking about, um, I come. I had to come to the root of what a mystic is, and the problem. What I found is, Catholics created their own false mystics, okay, which is basically a prophet. Okay, Catholics created their own false mystics and even tried to imprison some to a reputation of their own church, psychologically imprisoning some. For example, Mother Teresa. Okay, um, now their saints are false, and their false rules. That they have for um, saints or whatever is false, okay? Um, they have a lot of um, scamming and false healings and all these other things or whatever, trying to make a name for their, uh, to empower their false church. That is not the Christian church, okay? So the thing is, is that, okay, let me just go back to the nature thing. So when I was reading it, I noticed that there is a lot of nature, and some of it was basically just, um, it just wasn't insightful to line up with what they were saying. So, the thing is, my response is, I was just like, okay, I know that if somebody was in prison, was in prison for like 20 years, and got out of prison, okay, um, this is before I even knew anything about jail or whatever, but I had like a concept, you know, uh, you know, people have a common thing of like concept of, of jail and being you know, um, whatever. So, this is before they basically locked me up into captivity or what have you to, um, persecute me, by the way, um, and torture me and abuse me. So, the thing is, is that, um, 
I had, you know, I I used the comparison. It's just like, okay, I bet you anybody could sit there and basically write things like this. This is not, I mean, and enjoy. And he's even trying to copy a a passage of verse right after I used it because I actually used it in regards to, uh, I'm not saying other people didn't use it. He has basically used selective verses that I did not learn from man or other people. I selected them myself to use against dark, their dark principalities and among many organizations and their false teachings. Many different verses. Now, there's a lot of churches that they basically pretty much learn the same verses. Singled out verses and most of them are wrong. Okay? that they have used. Um, I grew up a lot of verses that they have used wrong. Okay. I'm yet to do a video about that. Um, (coughs) excuse me. Um, and they're all quote all these verses, even the false Christians by the false teachers or whatever quote verses that basically, um, perverts the word of God. Like he has done a number of times where he basically, which I corrected him, then he ran behind his pulpit and basically tried to act like he was correcting it. Like, um, and an officer, um, Jason Scalzi, who basically said, we do not war against flesh and blood, or whatever, but dark principalities or whatever. Common verse used by false churches. It is used, they, like Frank Apollo and Jason Scalzi and other cult members in the Violent Police Department uses that verse saying that I'm not allowed to speak against their wrong. Okay? Um, that's how they use it. And the other one is basically casting down arguments. Now, he tried to use this. boss minister tried to use this to sit there and justify them trying to silence me and refusing me my rights. Or whatever. They actually really believe this evil is in our Bible. The, 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 the righteousness of God in the Bible is just the opposite. It does not refuse. Um, the teachings of Christ does not refuse people's rights and oppress them to make sure they're not heard. So this is how he basically, like, he desires the evil in his own heart. And he's using the Bible that he can't interpret, cannot see, and use it as an object or uh, whatever, to abu- for abuse of power to silence victims to scam them, by the way. So, um, and then they, he tried to correct that after I corrected it on the Violent Police Department page. Um, so, this is there, you know, passage about, you know, um, casting down arguments and things like that or whatever. You don't sit there and slander people and refuse people to speak and to give knowledge and then basically, you know, oh, that well, it's kind of like they sit there go around, let's agree to disagree, let's, oh, that's your false opinion or what have you. Oh, you shouldn't judge. Uh, oh, no funny fault. No, that's not what's in our scripture, by the way. Um, so we're going to listen to his hypocrisy. Um, and then I just want to know, same principle used by the violent, uh, first church of Nazarene, now calling themselves Raymond Church, William Clay, and the violent police department, former chief caught a spotty where they were going around using the same exact principle. Okay. And going around claiming like vision and all these other things or whatever, actually pretending to speak against old ways or what have you. And when I spoke against their old school ways and basically said that in this Nazarene church, I was like, yeah, yeah, I grew up on that or whatever, you know, um, and they're copying my words now. Um, and you know, they were like false ways or whatever. And they trying to revert things back and like just slander me or whatever. But, um, the thing is, is that, um... They try to sit there, and they were trying to actually put in the old school ways that are anti-Christ. That basically silenced the rights of the people and suppressed the people and kept them ignorant. And this is why we are in the state that we are in now. As I've been sitting there speaking against this for like many, 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 many years. Over 20 years. Okay, against this this cult abuse, silencing people, um, keeping people ignorant, and all these things or whatever. So now, in a different way, he is sitting there trying to revert back or whatever old school ways or what have you, and then sitting there speaking against new trends. Now he is going through all of the the Vana police and this false chaplain is going through all of my um, memes, um, proverbs that I made that are basically on my Facebook, and they're copying words and like speaking against them or whatever. And one of them is basically trends. Okay, 
Um, I'm actually going to, I'm going to record, I'm just going to record this because it's getting up to 20 minutes. I have to record this when we make another part. I love walking along this old road. It reminds me a lot of the street <laughs> I grew up on when I was a kid, meaning that the way the trees overgrow the road, I, I, there's something... I'm going to have to say, I do like the videos where he's walking through the woods, like that's how I grew up. I was always in the woods and it was just like... Trees are a little bit different in Georgia, but um, better actually. Uh, bigger in, um, they are much different than Jersey trees. I noticed that when I would come into Jersey a few times as a child, I would notice that we're in Jersey from being in Georgia, by the way. So, um, yeah, the trees, um, they, okay, I'm going to go on. Extremely comforting about this look, this feel for me, and I really like that could be like for the evil person too, by the way. So uh, I love nature. I'm I'm been locked up in the house, by the way, for like God knows how long. Um, I can't even. I, it's, it's a comforting feeling. But what's not comforting to me is the way that we're so willing to throw away old things to cast off the old ways, if you will. In our current environment, uh, it's a bit troubling. Is change is in the wind. Change is, is coming. And some actually want a radical change. They're acting as if they want to remove... There's a play on the words radical, by the way. And he doesn't know what he's talking about, but uh, radical means change. This is why I use the word irradical. Excuse me. This is why I use the term irradical. Because they're all sitting there speaking against change when you sit there and hear and try to compare them to like ISIS or some, you know, so called extremist and, um, and all these things or whatever. And it's just like you're just speaking against change. So, because of that, it's being spread all over media, or whatever. And they're trying to use the word to stigmatize radicalism. Um, and basically, it, connected to these violent um, um, uh, groups or whatever um, the thing is is that I'm just like this is this is this is out there so I basically had made a meme and put it on my Facebook on a profile picture what have you and I said yes I'm a spiritual religious radical extremist uh, uh, I was, I was, I was I say religious okay uh, Christ, mystic Christian or what have you and um, I was making a point um, and because, like, all their wording is just wrong. Like, they, they, it was just, like, um, whatever. And they're trying to compare it to what either the popular <laughs> false leaders, um, are, I can't focus on that. I just gotta, I have, like, three different ideas. I want to just record this. Um, are against, and even though they're an error, uh, and they speak a lot of false knowledge, um, they, uh, this is gonna cut off, this is 23 minutes, I gotta, see, I'm, I'm bound for time now, like, this is, like, uh, four minutes, um, so they're, um, oh, I'm not gonna be able to squeeze in, this is why I'm really frustrated about this phone and my computer not being fixed, but, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna record him. The past as if it never existed. Listen, I agree something. This is his false teachings, by the way. Do that. They're persecuting me because I bring up true past, even true biblical, and he and the Vina Police Department, and which he, they're covering up, attacked me. Um, and, and and former Jason Scassi attacked me, and even though they would were they were bringing up their past, even their like you know honoring and their uniform and all this and that was all allowed. They were attacking me, sitting there like, oh, oh, that's the past, that's the past. If it was a week before, a month before, or what have you, would not let me speak to speak against the crimes of the Vaughn Police Department and slandered me, by the way. Committed crimes against me, libel against me, and all these things or whatever, and kept making up these rules and going around and going around the police department, oh, that's the past. So I spoke against that. So they posted a picture on their page. And, um, and others, um, of the same picture of a boy who was, like, kidnapped, like, many, many, many years ago in Vineland, or whatever, um, and things like that, or whatever, and everybody else, and I'm just like, wow, you people claim that you're teaching the Bible, even though you're not teaching the Bible, or not biblically correct, or whatever, but that is a past. That is history. 
So, yeah, and these churches, they try to change and rewrite history. When I basically bring up the roots and the truth of true history, okay, there's some things that can be found that I know, okay? Uh, yes, yeah, through research, by the way. Um, through my observances or whatever that's hidden b behind the false history. And they're promoting a... Um, I just got a notification. And they're um, promoting a false history. Okay? Um, even perverting our Bible. So, I mean, everything he's saying is just lies. And then he's going to pretend he's acting like he's speaking truth. And, I mean, so many people do this. It's just unbelievable. So, I'm going to go on. Need to change. That, 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 that some things even need to be replaced. But, but not everything. Not everything. Fashions do come, they go out of style, become oh, unfashionable, but I'm noticing that there's a dangerous trend, and I really wish that I... He's been only speaking against trends when they basically noticed my, um, him and William Clay or whatever, when I was basically calling them out for speaking false trending, uh, false doctrines that he was speaking. Now, that include, included those uh, silent, uh, pedophile false doctrine, silence of victims, victims, and was trending through these false churches and false ministers, and that would be like no judging, no, fi no, judging, no finding fault, no gossiping, or whatever. And now they're trying to use the word rumor now to silence people and deter people and brain brainwash people away in the same way, I'm sorry, in the same way that they use gossip, no gossiping for, to silence victims and make sure um, people do not know about the sex trafficking in the violent police department, which I actually created in a, other cases, by the way, of false rumors with the same words, okay, and claiming and trying to compare that to a rumor. They'll sit there and create false cases or whatever and try to compare it to themselves or what have you, and this is what the violent police department do. They do this all over the place, and they've been doing this for years, using media, the internet, you know, all of these things or whatever. I'm, they just don't stop. They, all they do is obstruct justice. They don't care what the truth is. But they will bury it real quick, and so will this monster here. would have never seen it in our day, especially in America, but it's becoming so. It's becoming a bit of an issue. I'm noticing a departure yeah. from what has always been the that. accepted teachings of Scripture. And when that happens, it's no longer fashionable. It's See that? The accept always been the accepted teachings of Scripture. First of all, their false teachings are not Scripture, by the way. And that's why I keep correcting him. And just like, you know, um, you're saved if you just believe that Jesus died on the cross or whatever. And he's trying to use a verse that I commonly use and selected, which was original, okay, to, no, I'm, I'm not saying the scriptures was original to oh, my original, uh, so, um, but original use of how I used it, um, which I manly and, and, and discerningly selected out of scripture to use it in many, many, many debate, debates that he's actually going through, all the list that is not used by any of these churches, I'm not saying they didn't repass it. Okay, but they're, they're, the verses that I use that are single are not taught by these churches. And he's going through all of them. And then he's still trying to pervert and twist scripture that is actually against those. Of the things, uh, against the scriptures that I actually taught against his false teachings. Like just recently he basically reads the scripture so you know the... So, no. So you believe there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Which I basically use in, um, um, in, in conflict, um, um, in debates with the false Christian churches, um, and Muslims, by the way. Um, uh, to make a point or whatever to get them out of their stuck rut and their false debates, dead-end debates that they, um, fight over and go nowhere. And do not uh, enlighten each other. And uh, so I basically tried to get them from basically banging their head on the wall. It's apostasy and that's, a, that's a trouble. Any departure, any migration from truth is apostasy. It becomes His false doctrines of, as he condemned the laws of God, by the way. Falsely claimed Jesus came to die on the cross for his sins, which he did not. He came to teach the kingdom of God. Uh, then they used that and perverted that claim. I basically same. I, I claim that uh, Jesus didn't die on the cross. That's a lie. Okay, not they know that he did or not. They just copy it. Okay, um, 
I know I do not just copy it because it's written in scripture. Um, my my reason for believing that, okay, this is a whole different story. I'm, I'm getting on 30 minutes now. So um, the thing is, is that he has many false doctrines, uh, including the the whole um, uh, false doctrine of the Lucifer fell from heaven, uh, literally, or whatever, um, um, and claiming the first sin in heaven or whatever and all these other things that he taught that is uh, trending through these churches and all these false doctrines he has copied that are not biblical as he's sitting there as I keep correcting proving wrong that he's claiming that are biblical so um not spiritual not of God so I mean <laughs> I'm going to go on I'm going to have to do another, ch another part Paul warned about it Second he perverts Paul's words extremely like all of these other churches do extremely he does not understand he's sitting there looking in scripture through scripture sitting there claiming that Paul like spoke against the laws of God perverting scripture and it, it's terrible I'm gonna have to end this it's like 30 minutes uh, 